Uh, late 80s, early 90s, Fort Lauderdale uh, had, a, f had a, a pretty healthy rock scene, but it was nothing uh, particular. Personally, it was, I had a, a, a real good exposure to uh, industrial and, uh, and punk music, which might have been a little late, but uh, it was new to me. And uh, for, for a place that's kind of uh, generic as far as music goes, uh, this was something exciting for me and definitely an influence. In 1989, I was working with uh, a girl named Cindy Dietz who would sing for, for, uh, for my music and we uh, put a few demo tunes together. And then I met uh, Brian Warner at a party. And uh, I knew about him being a writer for magazines like 25th Parallel and Tonight Today. And uh, I liked his uh, more creative writing. And so uh, he, wanted to, he wanted to be part of a rock band or wanted to do something like put a band together, so we put a band together. After the first few times I spoke with, with Brian, uh, I, I played him uh, some of my demo tapes, some, some material that I recorded on my own, some, recorded, some I recorded with other people. And so he became interested in, in my stuff and he helped expose me to uh, industrial music, which is what made me get a drum machine. Because I was playing drums myself beforehand, but, the, but using a drum machine was a lot more interesting and easier as far as recording. So, uh, so he heard my stuff and I read his stuff and uh, we got along. And uh, even though he wasn't a singer per se, um, you know, he got his ideas out, you know, kind of a, kind of a uh, uh, talk singing sort of thing. And we were into industrial and nobody in industrial really sang. It was just any melodies were achieved by, you know, synth, synthesizers or samples. But, um, but it made for a really good combination. It was a very bizarre, surreal, not quite metal, not quite industrial, uh, very ugly, weird thing. And I didn't think anybody would get into it or <laughs> fall for it, but it worked out. And uh, shortly, after, um, shortly after we had a, a body of songs together, we recruited um, Brian and Perry, who uh, became uh, I believe it was Olivia Newton Bundy and Jaja Speck to my Daisy Berkowitz and Brian Warner's Marilyn Manson, and that was the first formation of the band. But uh, within about a month or two uh, after that, we got uh, Brad Stewart, who was uh, his name was Gidget Gein. <laughs> 